Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hello. So as you'll have seen from the title, today's video is all about the moon cup. Oh, the moon cup, how whimsical you sound. Um, if you don't know what a moon cup is, um, it's a menstrual cup designed to collect all of your lovely period goodness. Um, moon cup is the name of this brand that I have. Um, I'll show you here, it comes in this little bag. Um, but there's lots of other brands, there's, um, I think there's another one called Luna, there's I should have googled this before, that's not the name of a brand, but there's a, there's a few and you can uh, choose depending on like the size or the flexibility of the actual material or the colours. This one I have is cleared, it was 19 99 if I remember rightly, I think most of them are in and around that uh, price point and you can get two sizes, one is if you're under 30 and haven't had a child and the other one is if you're over 30 and have had a child. It makes me think like when you turn 30 and you, if you haven't had a child does your vagina just go boop overnight and like expand? I don't think that's true, who knows, that's thoughts for another time. But anyway let's get into how you use it. So when you actually get the moon cup um, to begin with, I'll show you it, doing the little uh, bloggery vloggery hand. Um, you can see it's um, made from this silicone material. It has, uh, if you can see inside, these small little holes which are designed to help with the suction. Um, and when you, oh yeah, and it also has a little thing on the side for milliliters. And when you first get it, it comes with a stem. Um, I'll try and insert a picture here to give you an idea of what it looks like. And the idea is that you cut that stem off depending on how it fits inside of you. So for me, I had to cut the whole thing off. Um, I found that it kind of stuck out at the end and irritated my, my labia, which to be honest, irritated labia are not on the list of things I want on a, on a Thursday afternoon. It's not a Thursday, it's also not the afternoon, but you get my drift. So if I take this step by step with how it works, so you take the moon cup, you boil it before you first use it, um, and then you wash your hands obviously make sure everything's very very clean um, and you have to insert it up so there's a few different insertion techniques um, one of them is by folding it in half like this and then folding it in half again um, like so so you get this kind of like dare I say less delicious pretzel look um, and then you can insert it the preferred way I use is by folding one side in on itself like that. Sorry, not very good job of showing you. So it ends up being like this. So if I imagine for a second that my hands are a vagina, which is not a phrase I really thought I'd be saying um, anytime soon. Um, so imagine this is my makeshift vagina and this is the moon cup. What you would do is fold it in or however, I think it's kind of it takes a few trials and tribulations of doing it yourself to find out which one you prefer. Um, but say I folded it like this. What you want to do is pinch it at the bottom, insert it up into your vagina, um, and keep going um, until you feel like it sits comfortably and it will pop open. So it's quite a strange sensation when it pops open inside of you. It kind of goes like, whoa, and it kind of... So it's quite a strange sensation when it twangs inside of you. It feels like somebody's kind of flicking your innards. Not altogether awful. It's not awful, it doesn't hurt at all. It's a bit like a, oh, oh, didn't know you were there. Although you did know there because you just folded it up yourself. But uh, anyway, <laughs> Lord. And you'll know it's formed a seal if it makes that pop. Um, if you're not sure if it's formed a seal or not, what you can do is take your finger, put it up inside your vagina and run your finger around the cup. And normally, if it is kind of still half folded or anything like that, that makes it make the seal. And as I said before, the little suction holes around the top are designed to keep that in nice and sealed. So then, a last test you can do is put your fingers on the bottom and kind of give it a little pull. And if it doesn't move, then it's sealed and you're good to go. I mean, in the first couple of days, you probably will want to wear like a light panty liner or something just to make sure you don't leak. But again, I'll come on to that in a bit. And one of the best things about um, the moon cup or the menstrual cup is you don't have to empty it half as much as you would do with a pad or a tampon. Um, so I used to use pads for example and I'd have to change mine every couple of hours. Whereas with this I uh, put it in at night after the shower or when I'm in the shower. Uh, wake up in the morning, change it, rinse it, put it back in and it's good until the following night. So I mean it depends on your flow. It's not my fault I've got a heavy flow on a wide set vagina. Um, 
but yeah, it will depend on you. Um, and yeah, so for taking the moon cup out, um, what you'll do is, again, if it's up in your vagina, I think somebody should count how many times I say vagina in this video. Um, my estimation is going to be 32. Um, we'll see. So what you'll do is you put your finger up and you want to pinch it to um, remove the suction. And if you don't do this, you're going to have a very hard time making it budge and it will be a bit uncomfortable. So you need to put your finger up, press it to remove the suction and almost unfold it back out and then take it out like that. Um, I'm not going to lie, this is on a heavy day kind of a little bit messy. I mean, this does make you feel very familiar with your own period blood. Um, oh, I just realized I'm wearing red. It's quite apt, isn't it, talking about la sangre. So you do get quite familiar with your own blood, but I mean, it's natural, periods are natural. Anyone who bleeds, which is over half the world's population, pretty much, it's a natural thing, so it's nothing to worry about. Um, and the milliliters on the side mean that you can kind of get to know what's normal for you, what's a good amount, what's maybe a light period and a heavy period, and so on. So when you take this out, um, I prefer to do it, like I said before, in the shower, or if it's in the morning, on the toilet. Um, you can empty the blood down the toilet or in the shower, and then all you need to do is wash it out with water, reinsert it, like I said before, and that is all you need to do until the end of your cycle, which then you boil it in hot water for about 10 minutes, let it air dry, and then you put it back in its bag, and it's good to go for next time. So I thought I would run through some of the pros and cons with you. Um, I've got a list here in case I keep looking down. I came prepared. Um, so obviously the major big one is environmental. I mean, you can't escape the fact recently, and rightly so, that a lot of people are concerned about plastics, about waste, about landfills and uh, you know stuff like that. Um, and I bought this, I mean, I've been using it properly for about eight, nine months and already it's more than paid for itself. So this costs 20 pounds. I probably spend about five pounds a month on pads. And I know for other women and people who have periods out there, it's a lot more than that. Already that's so much you save from going into a landfill. That leads me on to the second point, which is cost. Again, if an average pack of pads is about five pounds, this was 20. So within four months, I've already made my money back. And this, if you treat it well, treat her well, treat her kindly, um, will, I'm already gendering my moon cup. How dare you gender my moon cup? Although I did name it Albert the moon cup, um, which, name your moon cup if you want. You don't have to. It's not a prerequisite. Um, but yeah, so if you think about it in that way, um, I've already more than made it my money and if you treat it well and, it sounds so weird, if you clean it properly and everything, it can last up to 10 years. So crazy savings, crazy savings. In terms of how you feel on your period, I don't know about you, but when I used to wear pads, I'd kind of feel a little bit like a sumo in a blood nappy and you feel very kind of gross and you're conscious and also, let's be real here, you know, you can feel like you smell a little bit and it's not very nice. With this, there's no smell whatsoever because really the blood only smells when it makes contact with the air, so on a pad or when you take the tampon out. This is just collecting in one thing. You take it out, you empty it and it's gone. Um, so there's no feeling like you're being weighed down with anything. Um, and also as well, of course, tampons contain bleach and lots of chemicals. And with this, it doesn't. So you're good on that front. It depends on the month. Like I can suffer with cramps and lots of PMS, lots of PMS. Oh, the beautiful PMS. Um, but, I mean, if the cramps are light that day, you can kind of almost forget you're on your period when this is in, um, because you just don't really feel like there's anything there. Um, a lot of people have asked me if you feel it when it's inside, and the answer is no. I mean, within the first couple of cycles, it took a while to get used to it, but once it's in there, you do tend to forget it's there. But don't forget it's in there forever. I mean, don't wake up and be like, it's been 84 years, like that Titanic meme, and you've got a moon cup up there. That's just not gonna be good for anybody, is it? Another great pro is I feel like it's made me get to know my own body a lot more, you like the amount of blood that's normal, which actually is a lot less than you think it is. Um, when you use tampons and pads, obviously they absorb a lot of it, so it tends to look like a lot more, whereas when it's in the moon cup, it's not a lot. Um, and yeah, it's so easy to clean as well, like you just take it out and boil it at the end, um, boil away your problems. Um, sounds sinister, doesn't it? Yeah, it's honestly safe to say that little Alba the moon cup here has changed my life. Well, she's changed my period life. She's changed my life, period. She's changed my life, period. Okay, so let's run through a few cons. Um, some people, 
usually straight away and within a couple of days it's like it's old hat to them and it's great my journey was not so simple um, the first time I tried to do this I ignored the advice I saw online about if it's not working stop I continued to try and put it in it ended up um, I think the correct term is fanny slapping me um, it half came out it went like outside it really hurt and it was like half up me half not because if you don't hold it all the way down when you're pulling out um, and you kind of let go it like reforms the seal and it can kind of go like and like thwack you um, so that was a memorable afternoon me shouting Lee 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 at my boyfriend's name help help and I'm in the bathroom and he's like what's happening and I'm stood there with half a moon cup hanging out of me crying going oh it won't come out water and him just like aimlessly splashing water on my nether regions so yeah um we had trials and tribulations at the beginning but really that's not a con of the moon cup itself i should have listened to the advice of like relax and if it's not working just just don't 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 force it so i'm just waving this moon cup round nonchalantly you'll have to be boiled again i'm afraid you'll have to be boiled not for boiling um it can be quite daunting if you're used to if you're used to tampons, maybe not so much, but if you're just going from pads to this, you might not be used to using it. Um, so that could be one slight kind of con, that it can be a little bit daunting. But as I said, once you practice and get used to it, you should be fine. Um, another con would be that if you insert it incorrectly, and by that, I mean if the seal forms before it's not high up enough inside of you, um, I mean it doesn't sit as high as a tampon, it does sit a little bit lower um, but if the seal forms too soon and then you try to whoa, <laughs> if you try to push it back up more what you end up doing is trapping air in it which leads to queefing the good old fashioned fanny fart so don't do that if you feel like it's not in the right position either take it out and try again or try with your kegel muscles to kind of like almost suck it up you there's so many whoa. But you get my drift to so try and like move it up you um one time i did that again you can tell i'm not reading enough instructions i'm just ignoring all the advice and i tried to push it up and i was walking and i thought oh my god is the seal broken i feel something going on and it ended up just being air aka the the fanny fart so so read the advice i guess another con depending on your financial situation is maybe you think 20 pounds up front is a lot it seems like a lot more than a couple of pounds for tampons or pads but obviously it is worth it in the long run but that's something that for some people it might be a lot up front um, and then the last con I mean all of these cons have been pretty small to be honest is that the small little holes around here that are um, essential for the suction to be formed properly can get blocked um, with blood obviously so you do need to either get some sort of toothpick or um, try and kind of pop it out like I'm not gonna lie like it's quite enjoyable to try and pop it out um, hashtag just sick things um, but yeah so overall the pros massively outweigh the cons um, and I really recommend these cups okay so some do's and don'ts my first do would be make sure you're relaxed calm breathe um, again if you're in a hot shower it helps make sure you're relaxed and if you don't feel relaxed and it's not going right and you feel a little bit stressed um, stop and try again later. Okay, so do be patient and give it time. Always carry a bottle of water if you know you want to change it when you're out and about because obviously in a public toilet maybe you don't want to then go wash it in the sink. I mean there's no reason why you can't but in case you feel a little bit strange about that. Do also wear a panty liner if you feel like you want to be safe with leaks and stuff for the first couple of days because your peace of mind obviously is important if you're a little bit worried about it leaking. So for don'ts, um, like I said before, don't push it up higher if it doesn't feel like it's sitting properly uh, take out and start it again because you don't want to end up queefing all day queefing all over the city and don't panic is my main piece of advice um, because where there's a will there's a way where there's a moon cup there's a happy period I'm not even convincing myself no periods fully happy let's be real but I think before I love you and leave you I will just kind of preemptively answer some frequently asked questions so here are my facts FAQs, 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 it's been a long day. Okay, does it hurt is a question I imagine a lot of people are wondering about. The answer is no, it doesn't hurt unless you accidentally bitch slap your fanny. Does it leak? Well, I've had one time when it was leaking and that's because maybe I changed it an hour later than I, did, than I normally would have done. So obviously you've got to monitor it and see how quickly you fill up your cup. 
Um, third question, how often to change it? Again, this is gonna be depending on your own cycle and your own flow. Um, but for me, it's once in the morning and once at night. Maybe you'll need to do one in the middle of the day. Again, it's something you have to kind of do by trial and error. The fourth one, does it feel really big inside or does it feel like, are you conscious of it? Um, I'd say for the first couple of days or maybe the first few cycles you will feel like you're maybe a little bit conscious of it but it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just obviously like anything else it's new and you're not really sure what to make of it but after a while you really get used to it and you, you'll forget it's even there um, and the last question does it stain I found with this one I mean I've been using it for like eight nine months now and it started to kind of collect a few stains even if you boil it and clean it it's just the nature of the hemoglobin Oh, a level biology. I barely knew you. Um, so yeah, you might get a couple of stains, but um, you can use some bicarbonate of soda, which I've done before to kind of gently rub any stains off, and that works really fine. And again, if that's something you're really worried about, you can get a coloured cup, so you can kind of choose that depending on your preference. Well, I've been talking for 20 minutes about periods and moon cups. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I hope it's been informative and yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've tried a moon cup, if you have one, if you have one, what's a name? Maybe she can hook up with my moon cup and they can have a moon cup party, except for when we're on because no parties for you then, you've got work to do. And I'm now going to stop talking to my inanimate object moon cup like I'm some sort of crazed lunatic. Behind the scenes me, moonatic. Am I right? And if you like this video, give me a like and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see. I want to do a few more chatty topics and things like that, so that'd be very good. And yes, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.